Jadaku tomed, panted under the hood that covered his head. He had been in his office going over the budget as someone had snuck up from behind. Several someones who had been eerily quiet had slipped a bag over his head, cuffed his tentacles, and carried him out into this, this, vehicle of some description. Jadaku's bulky body slid across the metal floor as the vehicle accelerated. He tried to fight his panic, tried to focus. He had, he had to admit, gotten good at not panicking the last couple of octal cycles. Employing a pair of humans had seemed like such a good idea. They were cheap, mostly diligent workers. And the occasional incident where the death worlder's strength or temper had caused issues could be mostly overlooked or ignored. The vehicle lurched around a corner. Jadaku slid on the floor again, bumping into what felt like a boot, a human boot. Jadaku panicked. Had he unintentionally broken a Terran social code? Had he inadvertently insulted the Death Worlders? Hadn't the female looked at him in an odd manner over the last tentacleful of cycles? Or was it... was it... Jadaku fought a sudden urge to self-terminate, the male. The male had told him to get out of the shop repeatedly, had he not. Clearly the humans were not satisfied with the wages he paid any more, but wanted to take over his business. The reasonable wages, Jadaku told himself. Quite reasonable wages. The mostly quite reasonable wages. Oh mercy, he had underpaid them, had he not. Because they were human and few others wanted to employ them. Jadaku's hearts raced as he failed to stop the panic from rising. Jadaku slid away from the boot as the vehicle suddenly stopped. Before Jadaku could react, he was pulled upright and the hood lifted from his head. There, so close that he could feel the hot mammalian breath, was the human female. Behind her, through the viewport of the ground vehicle, Jadaku could see the ocean, the big, deep, unexplored ocean. Jadaku, the female said, fangs showing as she pulled her lips back. You're going on a trip to see the fishes and stuff. Before Jadaku could react, the human male opened the door of the vehicle suddenly, carrying a bag half as big as Jakado was. Get him out of here, he snapped to the female. We haven't got much time. But, but why, Jadaku managed to croak, why are you doing this to me? It's for your own good, the female said as she bodily lifted Jadaku up and out of the vehicle. Trust us. Ticket, the male said as he pushed a data pad into Jadaku's grasping limbs. Cruise ship, two weeks vacation. Your broodmate and offspring is already aboard. But... Vacation, the female said firmly as she got back in the ground vehicle. You're overworked. We have the schedule for the next month already. The male had gotten into the ground vehicle as she spoke. Jadaku could only watch as they speed away, leaving him holding the ticket and the bag of luggage.